many turnovers does he? Think I should? I got one. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I ordered it from China. <laughs> Sean Lauer, this is Justin Zane, and this is Jared Childs, and welcome to the Buffalo Bills pregame show for week one against the New England Patriots. Um, my first thoughts about this game are I am scared out of my mind. This is the New England Patriots, and they're just, I, in my opinion, a lot better than the Bills. Uh, Justin, what do you think? I agree. Frankly, we've been team turmoil the last couple weeks, uh, and we're going to get into that. I just don't think we're going to be ready for the best team in the division right now. I really don't think you can be scared if you look at the history between uh, all the week one against the Patriots. We've actually done pretty well, 31 to nothing a few years back. And actually the last time it was like 1917, pretty close. So week one, we have a really good history. So I don't think you can be that scared about it. But Yeah, I did uh, look at the, the week one. And I'm, oh, I, it it caught my thoughts a little bit, but I'm still... I'm, I don't know. It, the it's, week leading up, I but today I thought about it a little more, but I'm still a little pretty, pretty scared. Uh, our top stories, of course, uh, T.O. coming back, he'll be playing, and uh, hopefully that'll be a big boost to the offense. Talk about that in a little bit. And um, Tom Brady, is he going to be the quarterback he was two years ago with Randy Moss? And what do you think? Well, frankly, knee injuries can be problematic. Look at Carson Palmer, but historically speaking, some great quarterbacks have came back from it, like Dan Moreno. And I think that it may not be the same as two years ago where they tore apart every defense in the NFL, but I think that Tom Hopefully Brady not. will. I think Tom Brady will be ready. All right, with the whole To situation, I've heard a lot of things recently about To having trouble. Um, is he past his prime? Is this the end of the To era of the 11, 12 touchdowns every year? I've been hearing that. We really got to see whether or not his toe. Is actually okay. Someone I heard a rumor that it was just a, the shoe was wrong or something. It'll, we'll know week one, but um, I don't know. And all the TO will really make a big impact on how we do. All right. Game. In my opinion, Trent Edwards is the most important factor in this whole Bills offense, and um, and also the offensive line, of course. Um, Langston Walker was just released. Uh, that's big. That just came out today, and um, Demetrius Bell is going to replace him. And we also released uh, Dominic Rhodes. Now, what do you think about some of those developments? Well, right now as it stands, going back to being scared, this is square one here. This is right where we have to be afraid of. I know. We have an unproven left tackle in Demetrius Bell. We have Andy Levitri. Coming back from injury. Coming back from injury as well. We have Andy Levitri, who's been struggling, but then again, he's a rookie. Um, Eric Wood has looked better. You have Jeff Hangartner, who's also new to the team. The only holdover from last year's line now is uh, Brad Butler, and he's not even in the same position he was at uh, last year. So I'm pretty scared as far as that goes. With Dominic Rhodes, I think he was just the odd man out. Xavier Allman proved to be uh, very effective at, with the running game. Uh, Fred Jackson, we all knew, was uh, going to be our number two guy. And even uh, Corey McIntyre showed the ability to run. I already think. Well, I mean, I agree with you both that I think offensively we're kind of done, but I think defensively is where the Bills have their only hope. We have two good pass rushers now. We have Aaron Maven, we have and Shovel. Aaron Shovel, they're both named Aaron, I just realized that. Um, yeah, we got Shovel and, uh, and uh, Maven, and it's like, and Maven did really good in the, in the Steelers and Lions game, sacking Ben Roethlisberger and Matthew Stafford, so, and Brady still has the knee issue, so maybe, I know they have a good line, but maybe that's where we'll get an Achilles heel, get some turnovers. Because if we're going to win this game, the defense is going to have to win it for us. It's yeah, not going to be the offense. Not, yeah, we have to, we have to love it. Okay. Now I'll talk about the, the defense. Um, I don't know any general thoughts. What do you think? Well, I think Jared covered a good chunk of it. Uh, the only things we have to worry about are uh, Keith Ellison possibly is a weak link in the linebacking core. And Co Simpson's no longer on the, uh, on the team. And we have uh, Brian Scott as our starting safety at this point, so we got to see how everything plays out. I okay. I agree. No, no further. Because yeah. in my opinion, the defense is pretty sound, and I mean we're not the greatest defense, but we can hold teams, and um, 
We'll see how that goes the rest of the year. Um, now it's time for a segment we call Sean's Ranting Session. Trent Edwards has his second best interception percentage in Bills history. The defense against the Pats has been pretty good again the last couple of years. Uh, Chris Ellis comparing him to Bruce Smith is pretty good. He's the second defensive end that we drafted out of Virginia Tech. Hopefully that turns out the way it did for the Bills in the previous years. And Teddy Bruschi, I'm very happy he's gone. Thank God he was annoying. This has been Sean's Randy Session, and now it's time for a segment we call the Two Bills Topics of the Day. Uh, our, our first topic is Turk Schoenert and AVP. Uh, I'll give you 30 seconds. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, it was unfortunate to fire a coordinator right before the season. I think the timing was absolutely terrible. Um, I granted there was a trend this year with uh, a couple other coordinators being canned, but I think for continuity's sake, you want to keep a guy in there as much as you can throughout the season before you have to get rid of him. Um, that said, I think Alex Van Pelt will do fine as a coordinator. He was hired by the University of Buffalo a few years back to be their passing game coordinator. Um, I do think that in the long run it may be a good thing, but why All right. And uh, what do you think about that? About Turk Schoenert? Well, I think that basically Turk Schoenert, um, I'm surprised he was fired too. I, I completely agree with what you said. Uh, I don't think, I think Alex Van Pelt might not know enough about play calling to actually be a good offensive coordinator, so I think it was a very risky move. Very, very rookie-ish, so we'll find out what happens. Both off the quarterbacks coach will become an offensive coordinator. So. And our second topic is uh, Dick Duron. Uh, Obviously, he's up for maybe maybe getting fired. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, it's quite the possibility. Uh, so many mediocre seasons in a row with uh, quite a bit of talent can lead to being canned. What do you think? Uh, I agree with Justin wholeheartedly. Um, I think that I predict a 9-7. I still think we can get to 9-7, but we need to get to the playoffs. If we do not get to the playoffs, Dick Jerron will not be back next season. All right, uh, now it's time for a segment we call it Justin's Trivia Corner. Hi, welcome to Justin's Trivia Corner. You guys just heard two Bill's topics of discussion for this week. The first two people that answer my trivia question correctly on any forum will be able to give us suggestions for the topic of discussion for the next week. This week's question is, the Buffalo Bills have had the number one overall draft pick four times. Two of those picks were used on O.J. Simpson and Bruce Smith. Who are the other two picks? Honestly, man, I have no idea what the answer is. That's a really good pick. I don't care because I'm just going to look at them there, man. Cheater. Alright, um, and our game picks for this week. Um, are we going to do that? Let's do it right now. What do we have? Alright, um, my pick is 33-27 uh, uh, Patriots. Uh, another close one, unfortunately. And... Uh, you're I have I have twenty three to or twenty eight to three Patriots and what do you got? I was a little closer. Here. I already said thirty one to seventeen. I can't yes. believe they all picked the Patriots. What the heck? And my key to the game was uh, turnovers. That's it. That's the only thing. Hmm. What's yours? Oh, uh, for me, I would say that can the line block. I, I I agree with both of you guys. It has. It's all about Trent Edwards with the no huddle executing that and the line. All right, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first home game. See you there.